Hello, I'm Teacher Paco. Today I'm going to talk you, to you about plants for the natural science lesson and I hope you like it. First of all, we are going to talk about the characteristics of plants. Okay, the roots of the plant taking uh, water from the soil. Okay, when you water the plants, the roots taking the water and the stem holds the plants up, the leaves taking air and sunlight for their uh, for, for the feeding and the flowers produce seeds for the reproduction of the plants. Okay, let's let's see the parts of the plant. That's the flower. Those are the leaves. Okay, take notice that leaf is singular with them um, and leaves with a. V, v, v. It's for plural, okay? One leaf, two leaves. The root that holds uh, that that supports the the plant and the stem, okay? The stem holds the plant up, okay? So flower produce seeds, leaves. Come on, you can do it. The leaves taking water and sunlight. The roots taking water from the soil and the stem holds the plant up. Okay. Okay, we are going to talk about the three different plants according to their size. Okay? We've got trees. We've got bushes and grass. Okay, so the biggest of those one of those are the trees. Okay, the trees. The medium size, okay, is bush, and the smallest is the grass. Okay, all the grass or the smallest very very small okay so trees have a thick hard stem hard very hard okay called trunk okay that's a trunk trunk bushes are short and have lots of stems okay many many stems, thin stems, many stems, the bush. And the grass is very thin and bendy, okay? And bendy, it can bend very, very, very easily. Let's talk about the trees, okay? The trees, as all the plants have their parts, the same parts, the four parts, okay? The leaves, the fruits, the roots, and the stem is called trunk. The trunk is the stem, okay? The bushes have lots of woody stems, okay? A lot of stem. One, two, three, four, five, six. A lot, a lot of stems, okay? And grass is very thin and bendy. It can bend with the wind. Wind, with the wind you can bend the grass. Okay, let's talk about the cultivated plants. We have two types of plants according to their um, way of growing, okay? They might cultivated plant or wild plant, okay? So cultivated plants grow in pots, gardens and fields. People look after them. Okay, let's see some examples. 
The roses are cultivated plants, okay, that's a pot, a pot. The sunflowers are cultivated plants, usually they are. Okay, and, the, and here we've got some cultivated trees, over here and here, there's a row, another row, okay, cultivated trees. Wild plants. Wild plants grow naturally, okay? People don't look after them. Cultivated plants were looked after by people. But wild plants are not, are not minded, okay? So people don't look after them. They grow alone, alone, okay? So for example, this, uh, this plant, this bush and the, cra and the grass are cultivated plants. The dandelion clock is cultivated. Uh, I mean, it's wild plant, and this one is wild plant. Sorry, wild plant. And that's and that's the same picture, teacher. Yes, that's the same picture, because this row and this row are cultivated plants, but. These bushes here, those are wild plants, okay? Wild plants, because they don't need attention, they don't need people to look after them. Let's talk about the uses of plants. We use plants for food, for clothes, for furniture, for creams, and medicine. Let's look at some examples. For example, wheat, okay, it's a plant that we use for food, for make cereals. I love cereals, and you? I bet so. Okay, for example, let's see some uses for clothes. Okay, cotton. Cotton is a plant. Cotton is a plant that we use for t-shirts. Okay, for clothes. For clothes. And aloe vera. Aloe vera is a plant that we use for creams, like sun cream or sunscreen lotion. Okay. It smells good, and it's very uh, good for hydrate for hydrate our skin. It's very refreshing. Okay, and more uses of the plants. For example, uh, food. Okay, we eat uh, the roots, the stems, the leaves, and fruits of some plants. For example, the lettuce is the is is that root, stem, leaves or fruit? What do you think? Yes. R the lettuce in the lettuce we eat the leaves. Okay? This plant over here we eat the stem. And potato we eat the Roots, very good. And last one, the tomato, finally, we eat the fruit. Very good, well done. Okay, so that's it. So that's the end of the lesson. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.